Hello, I'm Miss USA. My name is Arbani Gabriel. It's a dream come true to be here. You know, I've learned from that, and I guess background, as when I won Miss USA, there was false allegations that it was rigged, and this was seen in the public eye. It was on the media outlets and news everywhere, and it was very sad to see because all of my hard work felt overshadowed. And something I would say to people is, I believe everything in life happens for a reason. I questioned why is this happening to me? I felt like I didn't deserve it, but I'm a person of faith and I feel like God was giving me this challenge to overcome and to show everyone that even the negative comments and what people say do not define who you are. And I feel like because it was in the public eye, I've shown people resiliency. I've learned to stand strong in who I am, stand strong in my truth. And for people that still don't believe, I just work hard every day. I'm working hard here at Miss Universe to show why I deserve to be here. And I just hope time will just allow people to see more and more of who I am. And I just believe the hard work will show for itself. Oh, I think it's so important. Diversity, it really cultivates an open mindset. I love being able to learn about other people and how they say hello differently or even foods that are different and it really allows us to not judge. Um, I am actually the first Filipina American Miss USA and since I won, thank you, there are little girls that message me and they say they see themselves in me and I love that they can see how a woman that looks like me also looks like them. I need girls to believe in themselves and diversity just makes everybody feel seen because we all want to feel seen and heard at the end of the day. I love that question because I actually thought that before I joined pageants and then I really dove in and learned what it was all about and it's more than just the glamour and the photo shoots and the runway and I really aim to show people what how it's transformed my life. I've become such a great communicator. I used to be extremely shy and I'm very, very focused on showing people the hard work behind it, the advocacy. I'm here for sustainable fashion. I upcycle pieces and it's really about showing what you want to give to the world. I actually made this outfit to represent yeah, that. <laughs> Yes, so the story behind that is a thunderstorm and going back to the Miss USA challenges that I've had, it was very chaotic. I mean, there was days I felt depressed, but I feel like we need to look for the beauty and chaos and the beauty in the thunderstorm. I think we're all going through a storm or we're just leaving one or headed in one and that's life. And I wanted to represent that here. So I kind of looked, this is like dark clouds, I would say. I painted them on and I just wanted to share my story and how I love being a designer, somebody that's been sewing for 13 years and really just inspire people to move forward no matter what. I would say it's absolutely important, <laughs> extremely important. I have big shoes to fill and I just hope my reign shows everybody that you can be a hard worker and achieve anything you want in your own unique way like I am. Well, don't get me wrong, it is amazing. I feel very blessed to be Miss USA. It was just very unexpected after I won. There was just a few false allegations that it was rigged, so it kind of um, was detrimental to my mindset going forward for Miss USA that the pu it was in a public eye. And it was very sad for me for people to think that I would have lied my way to get here after all the hard work. So I felt like everything in life happens for a reason though. And that hardship really made me stronger. And I feel like this was a message for me to show everyone that no matter what people think, you can stand strong in who you are. And so that's why I'm wearing this and I made this to share that story with everybody. I hope it inspires people. I would love to be able to connect with people all over the world instead of just in my country. Something I love to do is teach sewing classes to women that have survived from domestic violence and human trafficking. And it's providing unique opportunities that people have never had before to build their confidence and set them forward on a new path in life. So I would love to expand on that all over the world, not just in my country, and connect face to face with women. I'm mentoring some here in my country now, and it's making a world of difference to support them and be on their way and help them flourish. I would love to amplify that all across the globe, also in schools as well. I go to go and talk to children about failure and accepting failure, and I think this is a message I can do more than just in my country. They have been very supportive, as you know. I'm half Filipino. My dad is from the Philippines, and he actually immigrated to America with $20 in his pocket in the American dream and he really taught me that you can pave your way to success.